And a very good afternoon to you on a cold but dry afternoon at Stamford Bridge. The atmosphere is much better when you, you're close like this and you can hear the players, yeah. uh, the remarks they're making, you know, they're calling out. Yeah, so Chelsea in there. It just gives it that bit more feeling. Yeah, we need that. Now Chelsea stretching Saints here. Two wells up from the left back position. Low shot, good save from McCarthy. Rebound comes in, he makes a double save. This time for against Kai Havertz. And that's great goalkeeping from Alex McCarthy. And there's eventually an offside flag up. He's kept the scores level, simple as that. Well, two minutes on the clock, and he's just made two outstanding saves. Yeah, back to back, Dave, as well. The first one to Chilwell, low to his left, was terrific. But why was Saints well, so exposed it's, there? It's, that's the question. Chilwell he's made the this. save, he's pushed it out to the right, then he's had to get up again, and it's coming again. He's made another save. Now Pulisic down the right with Werner. Blonde head German international near the corner flag, approaching the box, and he's support from Havertz. Havertz's left foot will swing it to Chilwell, who's up in support. In the box again, chips it in, headed half away, only as far as Mount thinks about the shot, the former Portsmouth schoolboy. And it goes back from Kante to Chilwell on the left. Crosses it in, near post, and this time McCarthy can't keep it out, but the flag is up. And Timo Werner will have to wait a bit longer for his first Premier League goal for Chelsea. Good header. Got a, got a wrist on it, McCarthy. Couldn't stop it going in, but the flag was already up. Saints have kept the last two clean sheets as Ings back in. Almost got Adams in towards the penalty area. Enough blue shirts around to break it up. Then Ward-Prowse gets it back towards Ings, but didn't really middle it, as we'd say in cricket. And Chelsea get the ball back. Havertz. I like the look of him. Yeah, I know. It's all leggy player. Big, language. big boy. Yeah. Good touch. Yeah, and can't. good awareness, Adam. Well, coming off on the half well, and then Werner's done Vednarek with the dummy gone round him into the box onto his right foot he wants it he's going to cross the penalty area low shot deflects maybe but either way this time it does count for Timo Werner just a minute or so after he had a goal disallowed he does have his first Premier League goal against his former manager at Leipzig and it's Chelsea 1 Southampton 0 I tell you what what a piece of class player that is the ball's come up to him and uh, he's done a little dummy between the halfway line and the 18 yard box uh, down our left hand side he tucks in across the, the goal he goes for it, he dips his shoulder he moves the ball again and then he lets fly with his right foot and tucks it away as Havertz goes out to the right inside his own half Chelsea playing out from the back now Kai Havertz has it inside to Jorginho first time ball looking to put Werner in over the top it's a beauty pressure on Bednarek and he's not back doesn't get as far as McCarthy and that will be oh. two for Werner who flipped it over McCarthy and headed it home and that long ball straight down the middle undid Bednarek and Southampton and Chelsea have doubled their lead Werner 2 Harsenutel 0 it's Chelsea 2 Saints 0 Adam everything I've just said to you earlier I've tried to explain to the listeners the problem we've had it's just happened ball's knocked over the top we've done it the back right he's on his own he's free as Werner goalkeeper comes nicks it over the goalkeeper and it's in but that's that's come because we're not organised and picking up in midfield Dave, it was just a ball just sent forward by Jorginho first time over the top. Yeah, but we look how we've got caught yeah. at the back. Yeah. Now Romeo finds a good ball. Nice nod down this time from Bertrand. And Saints I think we'll have another throw. They will. Trailing by two. They need something here before the break. Would just give us all hope at half time. The moment is too easy for Chelsea. 42 minutes gone. Saints throw into the thighs of Adams can't keep the ball under pressure and then Havertz goes past one scoots past two but showed too much and it gave it away now Ings is in from Adams he's passed round Kepper and Saints are back into it before half time beautifully polished off by Danny Ings who's had a good couple of weeks after scoring for England that's his fourth Premier League goal of the season and he made that look very easy and another assist for Shea Adams 2-1 Chelsea me, Saints back in it let me just tell you what happened there we picked up the big man, Havertz, robbed them of the ball, played in, Ingsy. If, if you just see the replay now, look. Yeah. Because he was closed down quickly and not given time and space, we've won the ball back, played Ingsy in, and we're fine with her. Back in the game, 2-1. Free kick is just outside the centre circle on the left. Ryan Bertrand, who of course played 28 Premier League games for Chelsea nearly a decade ago, drifts this to the back post. Vestergaard goes up. 
half wins the header, but Havertz was on to him. Only comes out as far as Walcott. Puts it back into the middle of the penalty area. Headed away by Chelsea again. Two headers out. Saints trying to keep them penned in here. Ward-Prowse and Romeo get it to Ings. Edge of the box and Ings will snap shot and it's wide of the right-hand post. But he had to take it first time. It was just teed up for him. And uh, in the end, Chelsea he's, pleased to see that go he's wide. very good at that, Ingsy. He sees, he sees what's on at times. I've just had a message from someone at Saints, Dave, which will make you smile, that says, the Saints changing room is in the health club down the road. That's why it took them so long to get back for the second half. <laughs> they were all having a half-time workout. And the ball goes back from Kepper, and Saints could be in here. And Adams, can he get it to Ings? Still, it's not clear. Adams hits it. He doesn't get out of play. He smashed it into the roof of the net. Frank Lampard's distraught. Ralph Hasenoodle's delighted. And a mess at the back for Chelsea. Saints take advantage. And Shea Adams, deservedly, finally, has his first goal of the season in the Premier League Saints have turned it round here early in the second half it's Chelsea 2 Southampton 2 well Saints have had a terrific start of the second half they've pushed up they've really give Chelsea a problem they've pressed right in on them they've won the ball back they've moved the ball quickly Chelsea get themselves in a mess at the back Saints capitalise on them on it and Adam sticks it away it's 2-2 game on yeah they're just playing and it's just a long ball a bit like Saints got caught up with Bednarik but Zuma's there first and he's back pass and then Kepa slips over and in the end Adams and Ings are trying to put it in Kepa gets back and Adams absolutely slams Fred Carno's at the back <laughs> Saints growing in confidence by the minute here. Vestergaard just pokes it forward to Bertrand. He couldn't keep control, but he thought he kept the ball. Then Ings couldn't quite get it, and Kante broke it up. And Werner, who don't forget he's on a hat-trick still, plays it on the right. Inside, he plays it to Pulisic. Dances past the half-challenger, Ward-Prowse. Through to Werner, slides it square. Havertz has his first Premier League goal, and that's a brilliant reply from Chelsea. Just after Saints had them at sixes and sevens at the back, Chelsea have ripped them apart, and the two Germans have combined again with Pulisic and Havertz has his first Premier League goal and Saints were only level for a matter of seconds it's Chelsea 3 Southampton 2 what a game well everything I've been talking about how frustrating you know I, I feel for Alf down there because his team going forward have been very very good but our marking at times off the ball and our tracking I mean it's been very very poor Zuma sent back into the mixer on the edge of the box by Diallo. Headed forward this time by Ward Prowse. Four minutes of stoppage time we're starting. Ward Prowse can't cut there. And that was well read by Ibrahima Diallo, who could see the sense the problem was going to come as Zayats tried to play, play it. And then it's swung out to the left wing. Bertrand gets a free kick off Rhys James. So this is a good set piece situation now. In stoppage time here. Bednarik can go up. Got four minutes with 30 seconds into them here on BBC Radio Solent. And there's a short option here to Teller, who's actually just hung out in front of Bertrand. They could actually take it and go one-on-one -on -one with Zayic if he wanted to. But it's going to go into the melting pot from Ryan Bertrand's left foot. Saints player falls over. Vestergaard can't win it. Walcott will volley in low and it's gone in the far corner. And it may be big Yannick Vestergaard got a touch on its way through. It was volleyed into the box by Walcott. And Southampton have come back again. 2-0 down, 3-2 down. It's 3-2 in stoppage time. And it's Chelsea 3, Saints 3. And Vestergaard celebrates with Walcott as they both should. Well, the ball goes into the box. Chelsea, they get the header, clear it to the edge, just at the edge of the box. And Walcott gambles on it. Picks it up, clips it away, and makes it 3-3. What, what an absolute bonus, Dave. On the replay, we're going to get a check. But Walcott's volleyed it low, well, and it's a little stupid he's, he's header. Picked up, he's it picked a up a great slot on the edge of the box. Yeah. If you look at the header coming out, he's dropped off. But look at Vestergaard. He's, but I, I'm just delighted at the way he read the situation and dropped off. Got yeah. the shot in. That's a good point. And that's a terrific yeah. point for Southampton here at Stamford Bridge. Three years in a row, Chelsea haven't beaten them here. A nil-nil, the 2-0 last Boxing Day, and now a thrilling 3 all draw.